Today we're taking a quick look into South Carolina, starting with Greenville. When you visit Greenville, the downtown is sure to delight. Check out the inspirational quotes on sidewalk pavers. Stroll along tree-lined lanes among architectural delights. For history buffs, a city hall marker records these highlights. The city of Greenville had its origin in the Indian Trading Station and Mill established about 1767, by Richard Paris at Reedy River Falls. In 1784, these lands became the property of Colonel Thomas Brandon, who sold to Lomuel James Alston in 1788. Alston laid out the town Pleasantburg in 1797. In 1815 he sold his 11,028 acres including the town then known as Greenville Court House, to Verdry McVie under whose imaginative development Greenville emerged as an antebellum trading center and summer resort. In the 1850s, the Greenville and Columbia Railroad, the Furman University, and the Greenville Female College were built. Following the Reconstruction era, the building of cotton textile mills converted the town into an industrial center, which by 1917 became the textile center of the South. After World War II, continued diversified industrial growth, with the expansion of textile and allied industries, earned the city the title of textile center of the world. An industrious and progressive people have made this growth possible. Today, fountains, parks, columns, trees, sculpture, stately churches, art museums, theaters and symphony grace this city, ranked in the top 10 by livability. Learn more at the website www.visitgreenthelessc.com Now, let's continue on to the capital of South Carolina, Columbia, also the second largest city in the state, for a quick drive by and salute. So long, for now, until next time to the Palmetto State, one of the 13 original colonies of the United States.